In this video, I'll talk about a $2,000 fourth stimulus check that would be sent in 2024 to low-income people and, of course, those on fixed incomes, such as Social Security and disability recipients. The subject of this is, of course, SSDI Survivors Spouses SSIVA film, as I receive a lot of queries and worries from many of you who watch the videos on the channel here in the community. Down in the comments box below, we're requesting an update on this and wondering when we might expect to receive the $2,000 check in 2024. All of these are excellent questions, and since I want to make sure you understand what I'm focusing on in this video, let's get started right away. 2024 is undoubtedly a very exciting time to be where we are at this moment. There are a lot of things going on right now, a lot of things happening later in the year, and a lot of various themes that we do need to keep an eye on because they will all be very important. If you've been following the videos on the channel for a long, you know that I focus on a range of different things, let alone any additional money that it might be going toward the individuals and those beneficiaries I said at the beginning of this video. Here, I'll break those down for you quickly. In this video, I'm observing a lot of aspects. The first is the economy. Again, I won't turn this into a lengthy economic lesson because there isn't a need for it. First of all, since you are probably not viewing this movie right now, I'm going to assume that you don't really care about hearing a major economic lesson in it. Nevertheless, I do want to talk about a several various economic items that I am keeping an eye on because, as you may have heard me mention in previous videos, stimulus checks are given out when the economy is experiencing a recession or contraction. The entire idea behind stimulus checks is the entire goal is to stimulate the economy. So keep in mind that they employ us, a huge, huge difference, instead of giving us stimulus checks to boost our bank accounts and to stimulate ourselves. Okay, but in any case, it doesn't matter if they choose to give give us some money and instruct us to spend it, and we'll gladly do so in order to purchase everything they want us to, which is exactly what stimulus checks are for. All right, so I'm keeping an eye on the economy and what I'm going to be keeping a careful eye on the one data point that is released once a month, which is the employment report, also known as the non-farm payroll figure. It is released on the first Friday of each month at 8.30 a.m. East Coast period, and it reveals the developments surrounding the unemployment rate. What is the labor participation rate doing, how many jobs were added or lost in the previous month, and how much people are making per hour? If hourly wages are rising, they're keeping the same. Otherwise, they're declining in terms of what's happening there. We receive all of this data once a month. This is a very significant metric that I want to keep an eye on because, in the end, the loss of jobs indicates a contracting economy. Because companies of all sizes, big, medium, and small, are essentially firing employees, not employing new staff, and cutting payroll to save money by having lower overhead. This is a crucial metric that we want to keep an eye on, so that's first and foremost. We must pay attention to the obvious, the presidential election. As you may already be aware, this is scheduled for November. Although it seems early in the year, November is not that far away. A few months away, and, as a result, we need to keep an eye on this because it will undoubtedly play a big part. Granted, this only occurs once every four years, but it's still something we need to keep a close eye on. Because what these individuals are talking about and thinking is, do you think this will, um, have an impact on the economic picture moving forward? Will it have an impact on politics or legislation bills, packages, proposals? Do you think floating ideas will have an impact on what they might wish to pass? I'm not sure, maybe before November, but that's definitely a major deal and crucial as well. So these are a few different aspects. I'm obviously... There is a lot more to it now that you are watching, including the Federal Reserve. I'm keeping an eye on what they're doing with interest rates. Are they going to continue to rise? Are they going to take a break? Or will they be decreasing them once more? All of this is dependent on the well we want to keep an eye on inflation. But here's the thing. Some people say that since inflation is so high right now, there's no chance that stimulus payments will be made in the future. Just wait and see what happens. The last thing we're going to hear about is inflation. They couldn't care less if inflation is 4% or 4%. 
You see this thing collapsing and burning, and we're in a tremendous recession, a major economic contraction, maybe 4 or 6%. At that time, they won't give a damn. Therefore, you have to consider it this way. When it comes to the economy during a significant downturn or recession, what comes first? Oh, let's be careful about inflation, but they're not. They won't give a damn about it. Instead, they'll say, let's pump this bubble back up. How do we do it? Let's print about $3 trillion worth of new money, and let's plow it into the economy. Okay, same old story. Nothing changes here. This is what essentially occurs each and every time there is an economic downturn or recession. Congress appropriates hundreds of billions or trillions of dollars, and the Federal Reserve creates a new supply of money each time, fresh money, and then distribute it to people as stimulus through checks or as increased unemployment benefits, similar to what we witnessed in 2020. That is, a significant amount of extra money flowing to a large number of people. About 40 million people receive the additional funds, which are then distributed in the form of loans and other items to small, medium, and large firms. The loans are given out in a variety of ways. Many techniques exist where a large amount of money enters the economy rapidly because it is printed out. It should be noted that they do not actually turn on a printer and print genuine paper money. Instead, they merely alter the numbers on a computer. It actually involves typing in numbers on a computer to print a trillion dollars, and that's all there is to it. It's fairly simple. Anyone can essentially do it, which is why people do it since money is so easy to create. Backed by nothing, since Richard Nixon removed us off the gold standard in 1971. Before then, however, each dollar was backed by gold, meaning that reserves of gold were required to support each and every dollar. The day, I don't know, 50 years ago. The only thing that backs up dollars these days, I believe, is the entire faith of the federal government. 53 years ago, they had gold. Before that, they had nothing. Actually, it's the real deal these days, so they may print as much money as they like. Because of this, we must keep an eye on this till 2024. I'm going to look at this in the comments area below. It's a really good question to which I don't have an answer, but it comes up all the time. All right, so as of right now, no $2,000 stimulus check has been approved. I've been very clear that I've been, I'm going to be really upfront about this. Every time I create a film like this, I say, no, it's not approved as of right now. People often question, well, when could something like this be arriving? I repeat, it all comes down to the financial system. At what speed do we actually view this thing? Lawmakers, believe it or not, can move very quickly. They're like turtles. Have you ever seen one? They're pretty slow, but if things go wrong, they can do really quickly. Crash and burn. How bad does it actually get at that point? They can be incredibly fast if they so choose. Sometimes, you will see turtles moving very slowly, but when they decide to take off, they can travel fairly quickly. You'll think you couldn't have imagined being that fast. The same is true for lawmakers. They're often slow, don't accomplish much, and just sit around all the time. However, with time, they can move very swiftly, much like a turtle. I hope this helps, but once more I'm keeping an eye on this for those of you who I wish I could respond to more effectively than, oh, precisely this date, I don't have that date again. I won't sit here and puff smoke or, oh, for sure a check is on its way. Even though I have no idea what will happen, I do know this. If there is a significant economic downturn or recession, money will undoubtedly be printed. This has happened before and this time is no exception. It all makes sense, so whatever. I'm here for you and anyone else who needs help with that. This is why I need to keep a tight eye on everything and why, as I've mentioned before, we need to watch 2024. Right now, everything is about 2024. Low income, fixed income, um... In any case, for those of you who are wondering in the comments below, 2024 is the year that this really all comes down to because of the election. That's what it comes down to when it comes to money, benefits, raises, checks, and all stuff like this. Section hopefully this clarifies everything more clearly. If not, feel free to subscribe and leave comments, questions, and criticism below. I'll keep you informed every day with what I discover there and to share the video with others. Your friends via social media, then return to the channel to view any of the countless other videos in the video archive or listed below.
Enjoy your day and leave a note at the top of the comment area or below until the next time. I'll see you later, and until then, take care and have a good one.